Hello guys, this is Gerard Beya. I'm a YouTuber and I'm also an editor for this group on Facebook, Y2K20 All Lives Matter. And this is in response to the movement from the US, Black Lives Matter. So as you know, uh, this movement is gaining more popularity around the world and it has created a lot of effervescence in many countries, in many big cities, in the US, but not only, in Europe as well, in France, in Paris, in other cities as well, in, uh, in the UK, and it has even reached uh, India and uh, Australia. So, I personally oppose this group, and I have good reason to do so. That's why I have created this group, YK20 All Lives Matter, and I have started to share the post that I have read that I think uh, has a, are in the same line uh, as uh, my views. And I have shared articles, videos, and I have uh, exchanged um, uh, point of views with uh, all the internet users on Facebook. And some of them, of course, uh, share the same opinions as uh, mine, but others are opponents and uh, we debated about it in a very constructive way. And I came with uh, this decision, with this uh, initiative to write the reasons why I am against this movement, which I will qualify as racist, a deceptive, leftist and violent anarchist. So what is wrong with Black Lives Matter? I am against uh, the deception as this movement has a political agenda. Many people don't know but it is a democrat movement. So if you donate to Black Lives Matter the money goes to Act Blue and Act Blue is just a political active uh, body for uh, the Democrat movement, the Democrat Party, sorry, in the US. And, uh, well, we say political active committee. That's uh, the right acronym, PAC. And it is a campaign, just uh, like any campaign, political campaign for the US presidential election. And we all know that we will have the election in the US this year. So that's why we're having all this effervescence, all this uh, agitations and so on. So I am against uh, this movement because of the lie behind. Uh, there is no systemic police violence against black people and many people are saying it. The truth is, according to the stats, there's more violence in the black community itself. So between black people, the black community makes up 30% of the US population, according to what I've heard uh, in many videos, but this uh, population is responsible for at least 50% of the crimes. There is a high number of black on black crimes in the US and that the media has turned a blind eye to as they prefer to talk about police brutality, which is more you know, uh, which makes more the buzz on internet and is selling more. And racism, of course, instead of poverty, instead of treating the problem of poverty, addressing this problem, uh, brigandage and family issues. There is a very big uh, social problem in the US, in the black community, which is uh, fatherless uh, uh, children issue. So I oppose this movement because it is a fight only for the rights of one community. So as the name itself says, it's a Black Lives Matter and it is racist. And if you go on the page, the homepage of Black Lives Matter, you see that they have uh, their demands and so on and the demand for certain privileges and they are fighting only for the black community and they oppose 
or, or against uh, violence against the black community and only against the black community. They do not say all oh, lives matter. That's a problem. They want to to have or to obtain free education and that their credits are written off. These are some of the privileges. They, they also uh, demand some kind of power, which I have not written here, but uh, they also on the website in the manifesto ask for certain power for the black people. So we cannot live, according to, to my point of view, we cannot live in a society where some are privileged based on the color of their skin. Uh, if you don't like racism and you're saying that the white people, for example, are privileged in a certain way and on, so why do you want to have the same privilege, privileges? So I am not black, I am a mixed guy, so I, which means that if you are also Latino and so on, so you will not be privileged at all. So I, I am totally uh, against this, uh, all kind of privileges. So you should uh, uh, be able to obtain what you work for, what you deserve uh, in a system, in a meritocracy system. So this is uh, discrimination and racism. So they are promoting this. And I oppose this movement because it creates more divisions uh, in the societies. A lot of people now are hating each other or are having clashes, uh, disputes and so on because arguments, because they don't share the same point of views. So by saying it's Black Lives Matter, uh, instead of all lives matter, so you are putting you're, you're putting more emphasis on the black community and the pretext, the excuse used is that uh, the black lives are in danger but many black people, black, uh, uh, how would you say, uh, black uh, stores, uh, public figures came came to say that Oh, actually, this is not the case. They don't feel uh, discriminated, racially profiled, discriminated, and so on, or in danger. So there are so many, there are so many athletes who are very successful uh, in NBA, uh, actors, actresses, and uh, so many businesswomen, uh, TV presenters, and so on, who are black even though they only make 30% of the population. So there is a high presence of black people on TV and so on. And it's very visible in the, <clears throat> in the, in the community or in, from the US. So black people can be racist as well. So that's what I, I wanted to say is that it's creating uh, division. We are not all black, so I don't f adhere to this group because I'm not black, and this is racism again, because you're asking everybody, you're importing this idea to fight for uh, the black community, when we are all subject to racism, at the end of the day. So all lives matter really, and just like in India right now, so we have the Hindus and the the Muslims and so on. So their lives also matter. They are all of dark skin color. Uh, they have uh, a different um, uh, skin uh, uh, com complexion. And so it's not just black and white or something. It's not so, you know, binary. So racism is a reality, but it but it is not only and solely towards black people. This is a lie to think that only black people are, are how to say, are prejudiced. That's not true. Black people can also be racist. A lot of black people are racist towards white people or the races. So we should not be, this is a lie. We should not allow them to deceive us. I oppose this movement because it is violent. 
So I will tell you why it's violent. You have probably seen uh, videos how they are destroying, they are storing uh, vehicles, police vehicles and so on. So it is anarchist and destructive. Their protests are often aggressive and have clashes against the police force. They vandalize, burn and loot. So many stores have been looted. And uh, the demand different. So now if you go, sorry, now if you go on the website of uh, Black Lives Matter, you will see that in their manifesto, they demand different of the police department and is dismantled. So they are against the police force because they see an uh, an, opposi an opposition, an opposing force when they see police, uh, the police force. So the police force is here to enforce the law and maintain peace and order. So this is not uh, the way they look at this. It is also morally repressive towards those not sharing their points of view. So psychologically, it is uh, very uh, repressive because if you are not adhering to the Black Lives Matter, so they think that you are fascist, you are a fascist, you, you, you are for white uh, supremacy, for example. So they cannot understand that you are for all lives matter. They think that you are against them. So this is why it's very aggressive and repressive and not tolerant as well. So, like I said, it is also more repressive towards those not sharing uh, their point of views or simply refuse to adhere to the movement. It's a peer pressure for many. So even at work, uh, I, many people said it and wrote it on Facebook that they cannot express their own opinion, their point of views, because they are afraid of others, of the those uh, <coughs> who are pro Black Lives Matter. And uh, I oppose this movement because it is radical. They are not willing to accept history and that norms and values evolve in time. They are terrorist and disrespect sorry, they are terrorist and disrespectful to the government. So they are against the state itself. They are burning uh, the US flag, the American flag. So they are against uh, the the government. So they are anarchist, they are against uh, the state institution. And for both, they are again. They can destroy. They don't have any respect. They disrespect both private and public properties. They will rob. They will loot. They will burn. Public or private, they don't care. It's a destru uh, destructive movement who wants to deface monuments of historical figures and anil remnants of human ancient time and civilization. Essential which are essential for our common memory. So, so they have, uh, they pull down uh, statues and so on because they are against what uh, they represent and so on because they don't accept the history of humanity. And I oppose this movement because it does not respect diversity and is intolerant to religious beliefs. So, they don't have this aspect of uh, religion in it. And uh, you have the LGTB movement, the lesbian, gay, transsexual and bisexual movement, as well as the anti-fascism uh, movement. They are all constituent parts of the Black Lives Movement. It instrumentalized racism, homosexuality, transgenderism, and bisexualism. So the Black Lives Movement uses all of this to attract people and uh, it has radical and violent members such as Antifa under its umbrella. They are liberals and pro-abortion and for other social values deterioration such as the abolition of the traditional nuclear family. 
It is a door, of course, for all kind of moral driftings. I oppose this movement because they portray a biased history of slavery. So because it's Black Lives Matter, so they, they make as if slavery was only about black people or African people. So not only black people were enslaved and should and wish and should we all demand reparation or compensation and so on, we would better start humanity from scratch and rewrite its history. So this is of course unreason and uh, a revolutionist vision of things. It fails to acknowledge the advances of humanity and its uh, societies and what its societies have uh, accomplished. So I oppose this movement because it cultivates hate and grievance of people who suffered from colonization. Many Black Lives uh, Matter activists live in the lens of uh, colonizers. Uh, I don't know if it's colonists, no, colonizers, yeah. Speak the language as the native tongues and or full-fledged citizens living in the cities built by the fortune acquired by colonization. So this hypocrisy that if you live in France, for example, and you say, oh, there were colonizers and so on, but you are a French guy, you speak the language, and you're against the French people. So this hypocrisy is just at its best. This movement, the Black Lives Matter, also fueled the attitude of victimization. Although many successful work their way up the social ladder and are thriving. So it gives uh, this attitude to people or it just reconfort the attitude of some people who says, okay, because I am a black, so I have not received uh, much in my life or I have been disadvantaged because of uh, repressions in the past because of my grand grandfather was, uh, were, uh, slaves and so on. So this is why I'm in the situation I am right now. So these are good excuses to, to uh, your current situation and not to move forward. So this is, these are the reasons why I do not support Black Lives Movement. So if you agree with, uh, with this and you want to share it, please feel free to do so. If you appreciate the effort, and uh, you add it to what I said, give it a thumb up. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you're the most welcome. Thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.